really interesting, I think. I just think God's hand all the way through, you know, mm. especially just in our lives. That unwavering, unfailing desire to do God's will is still here. Good, strong, solid people. It might not be quite as exciting as it was, in you know, seeing answers to prayer all the time, um, like every week, something else like, oh. um, but, but that good, solid grounding of um, core people who are always seeking God's will, that's, that's still there. And, you know, I don't think that'll ever go away. I can remember fundraising. I was involved in fundraising a lot to yeah. begin with. Yeah. And a friend and I would go down to Melbourne to a factory and pick up T-shirts. It was a T-shirt factory and yeah. sell them. Yeah, yeah. And um, the fella who owned the factory said to me later, he said, I thought, how are they going to get enough funding to start a school by selling T-shirts? Probably the challenges are, again, as is always the case, something new, facilities are basic. <laughs> Programs are probably just, you know, their, their infancy. So I guess some of the opportunities um, to be involved in certain programs or have certain facilities weren't there initially, but in time, God's very faithful and we've seen that grow and develop, yeah. You know, we all have visions, yeah. So sometimes those visions would have a bit of a clash effect, but yeah, it was it was good. And we gave, you know, like, it's, it's our time, it was any book we didn't need, um, and it wasn't just us that gave, our parents and anybody cleaning out a cupboard that found something that the school might be able to use along that came. It was, it was really like stitching stuff together, but it worked. And it worked because it was God's idea in the first place. It wasn't, we could never have done it. If, we, if we'd known, perhaps a few of us did, if we had an inkling of how crazy it was going to be, we might have run a mile. But it, it, you just get in there and you do, and more and more people come, and it just gets sweeter every every step of the way. It, it never bothered you having the parents around because you knew how much work they were putting in. You knew that this was their this was their baby, this was their project. Um, it's no small thing to set up a school from scratch. Um, they had to be amazingly committed. We had fabulous families. They were so engaged. They had a. They all obviously had a real vision for their kids starting a new school, and you know, in their town, a Christian school. And uh, we had no trouble. If you called it a working bee, they were all here, and and they were like I say, planting things and making gardens and. Uh, and all of that sort of support. They were in the classroom taking reading and even helping with art classes. So they were in the classroom as well as in the garden and whatever we needed, they were there. <laughs> we started every working bee with um, praise and worship because that has always been one of those strong calls that God put us on us when we were tiny. Cairo means rejoice. Uh, there was a real call on us to believe that Cairo was going to be a place of great joy. And there were 16 kids in Cairo in the first year, and you hear those little kids singing around the yard, and they used to all play together because they were all friends. Um, that, was, that was beautiful. I think God has brought along students that he believes should be here at the school, and that's what we have always believed and always trusted in, that he provides the students he knows which students need our school. Um, and we'd like to say everyone needs our school, but not everyone wants it either. The date in April when we had to have that 25th um, enrolment, and on the morning of the 25th, this uh, family came in and said they'd heard about us. Um, uh, they were interested in this, and, and John Darwin said to me, Shirley, you've got to show them around the school but you can't harass them, all right? You know, none of this pushy, pushy stuff. <laughs> what? Anyway, um, I took them around the school. Oh, I'm trying to think of the young lady's name. Anyway, at the end of it, they said, oh yeah, we are in. So they signed the paper on the day, which gave us our, <laughs> the number of kids we needed to have funding for that year. God's goodness, God's fingerprints all over that. And 
that's what I've learned. If it's if it's right, if it is timely, if it is what God wants to happen, it will happen. Well, here here at Pakenham. Um, we had to have uh, 20 kids for a registration and we started the week uh, with 19 children and so the following Monday we had to have 20 registrations and to get registered. So there was a lot of prayer going on of course as you'd imagine. So we had this opening school picnic, it was a night time event, um, I think it was, it was on the Saturday I think and it had just bucketed rain so we thought <laughs> no one's going to come and of course being a building site it's not like it is today it was mud it was mud just everywhere so we're trying to keep these nice new carpets clean uh, and we're trying to do all those things but we had so many people come so it was really good and then unbeknownst to us there was a family that had come who weren't enrolled in school but they were so impressed by everything that they had heard and seen that night that they decided to enrol their kids so we had on the monday 20 kids when the registration board came and god is amazing the way he has done that and it's not just that time but I think it was a similar for year, year sevens way back in, in the early 90s. Mm. And there's a number of occasions where um, in our own strength, we think, no, this is going to be impossible. But mm. with God, everything is possible. Mm. And one of the things it does is just helps you build that faith and know mm. that this is God's place and he's mm. going to look out. Mm. Yeah, it's so good. I think I've just, I just know that God has got the big plan. It's 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 not it's not just it's Wes doing the theatre as well as photos. It's it's me doing library as well as bookkeeping. It's God puts us in different places so we learn more of Him. I'm sure of that. I think it's reflecting on what God has done yeah. and knowing that He's going to be yeah. in the future if we stay faithful to Him, yeah. and that's really important. Um, that that constant. Um, not relying on ourselves, but relying on God for where we're going. Mm. Um, we can go along and things will go, cruise, you know, cruise along, but, but we're more interested than that. It's a bigger picture. It's not just Cairo, it's, it's Christian education. How are we going to promote Christian education um, in Victoria, in Australia? How, 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 are, how are kids going to come up in a system where Christ is the centre, and they're going to learn about that and be able to um, uh, live their lives serving the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's just really important. Yeah.